and welcome to Sarah Stamping Retreat. Today we're going to be creating some cute lock cards using the new Spellbinders freshly picked dies. So these lock cards are really cute. You can do them with pretty much any shape or die that is symmetrical. And I first learned this type of card by watching a video from BB Cameron. Now that was a pretty long time ago, but I will link it below if I can find it again. So we're going to make two cards so you can sh see how to create them with different shapes. The first one you don't even need dies for, the second one we're going to create with an oval die. So for this first card, I'm going to use the Fresh Pick Daisies dies. And I've got all the pieces here, so I'll make those up first. And there's a picture on the packaging of how... They can be made up so that's a really good guide but obviously you can make your own layouts as well they're created to fill a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card blank but obviously they come in pieces so you could kind of do it in all sorts of different ways or you could just use one piece as usual with spellbinders dies there's lots of different things you could do with them but for this first card i'm going to create a card with a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel on it so it makes sense to use them as they're intended. So I'm just gluing all the centres together to start with and then there's a little piece that glues onto the top of here that's this piece here and then put the centres in the middle of the flowers And then there's these little circles at the end of these stems that we can glue the flowers onto. So for this card, I've got four, four and a quarter by five and a half inch panels from this kind of pale greyish blue cardstock. And then this piece, I've cut a silver four and a quarter by five and a half inch rectangle. And then I've used a stitch die to cut a rectangle out of the middle of that to create a frame. So I'm going to glue that onto one of these rectangles. And that's obviously going to be like the front of my card. So then I'm going to add on my daisy pieces. I just love that these dies take up the whole of your card front but then they're in separate pieces so obviously you could have this piece on, on its own um, as part of a card, they're really flexible. Okay so then let's create our card. So I've got a 7 by 10 inch piece of card and I'm going to score it two and a half inches from each end. So that's at two and a half and seven and a half inches. And then I'm going to fold this in to make a gatefold card. And you could, of course, snazz this up as well, but this is going to be in the middle of here. So you won't really notice if I do much to this. So let's create the rest of the locking mechanism. So one of these pieces is going to stay flat and I'm going to score the other two in half. So they are four and a quarter wide, so I'm going to score them at two and an eighth. And then I can fold them in half. And then I want them so that the two folded pieces join in the middle. And then I'm going to add some glue to them. And then I'm going to add on this piece, which is going to be the back. So that's the back. I'm going to flip it over, and this is going to be the front. So this is our lock piece. So then, to add it to the card, we want to add one side in this side. And the other side 
in the other side and then we can just slide that up like that and that is actually where we've got a little piece in the middle here the two pieces aren't actually joining so it's creating like a bit of an arch so I'm going to just slice a small amount off each of those sides so you can see now I've got a bit of a gap in my card and then when I add this on then it will fold nice and flat so then all that's left to do is to add my sentiment so I'm going to heat emboss this happy birthday sentiment and I'm going to do that in bright white embossing powder this is the opaque bright white super fine from wow well. So then I've cut that down and I've cut a piece of silver cardstock to go around it. And then I'm going to add that on foam pads to my card. So then that comes off and we've got our topper piece. And then we can slide it back on. And there's our beautiful card. So then for the second card, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to use ovals so i've taken this frame which is from this stitch die of the month from spellbinders and i've used the outside die to cut out four ovals and then i've used these three pieces together so there's an outside die and inside die and this piece which adds that nice ridge texture to it to create a silver frame so if you check back to Saturday's video that whole video was about that gorgeous stitching kit but I love this frame so I'm going to use it for this as well so I'm going to add this to one of these ovals so then for this one we're going to use the fresh picked vase bouquet and I'm going to put the sentiment on the vase this time so for both of the cards, the sentiments have been from this Spellbinders Party Balloon Garland stamp set. It's got some really nice sentiments in. So this one says, let the celebration begin. I'm going to heat emboss that on straight onto my vase. And this time I'm going to heat emboss in silver. So this is the polished silver super fine embossing powder. So then I'm going to pop the vase up on foam pads at the bottom of my front piece. Now I'm making sure not to put the foam pads too close to here because I'm going to want to tuck some of the stems under the vase. So then I'm going to start gluing on these stems and the flowers. And I'll just stick on some music and speed through this bit just so that you can see how they're made up. But you don't want to watch that in real time, right? <laughs> Then I'm going to make up the mechanism the same way I did with the rectangles except for these I'm just going to, I'm not going to score because I think it's hard to score and make sure you get directly down the centre of 
an oval so I'm just folding them in half so that I can make sure that they're folded exactly down the middle and then it just goes together in the same way it's a different shape but it goes together in the same way so I'm just going to glue across here and I'm going to put this piece on to be the back of the mechanism and then I'll put on the other pieces the front of the mechanism and then I'm going to create the card front in the exact same way I did the last one. So it's the same size, 7 inches by 10 inches, so that we end up with a 5 by 7 inch card front. And once again, I'm just going to trim a small amount off those sides. And then I can slide on the topper. And I think what I might do with this one, to add a little bit of interest, is just to dip my paintbrush into some embossing ink refill and splatter it on the front of here. And it's a bit too thick to create good splatters, so I'm going to mix it with a bit of water, see if that works. So I think I'm mostly just splattering water, but let's see whether the embossing powder will stick to that. So, lessons learned from that process, number one, embossing ink does not splatter well, it's too thick. Number two, don't mix it with water because you get a big goopy mess. But number three, which I think is actually really good, is that the embossing powder does actually stick well to the splattered water and I think that's given a really nice effect. So I kind of think that looks really pretty with that silver splatter in the background. Okay, so then there are both of today's completed cards. I really love these dies. I think they're really, really pretty. And I love that they take up the whole card front, but also have individual pieces that you could put on cards separately if you wanted a different look. I really hope you enjoyed the locking mechanism. I think that's really fun. Please do let me know in the comments which one's your favourite, the rectangle one or the oval one. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate you clicking like below. And you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below. And there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.